This is FE Peer Review. The date is October the 22nd, 2023. YouTube censors me, though I have not violated community guidelines. This happened a few weeks ago, and it again happened this morning. So what you're seeing on the screen here is from this morning. I left a comment on a video by Rachie, and um, you can see that comment below. And then I got this message from YouTube commenting paused to protect the community. We've discovered that comments you've left may violate community guidelines. They give a link to their policies and then it says you'll be able to post comments again in one day. Have feedback, let us know. Okay, so I'm going to dissect this here. Commenting paused to protect the community actually means to protect the community from me because in their determination I might be a danger to the community. You all know how dangerous I am. Okay. We've discovered that comments you've left may violate community guidelines. So they have not actually discovered that I have violated guidelines. I'm being deprived of my ability to leave a comment on the basis of a suspicion that I might have violated community guidelines. Okay. That's their website. They can they can set their policies as they may. I personally found that find that quite a dubious proposition that they don't actually make the determination that I have violated community guidelines before depriving me of my ability to use the site. But like I said, it's their website. It's a private platform. Okay, I, you, I checked the link on policies and I read through it and I cannot see any policy that I have violated. All right. They will let me give me the chance to comment again in one day. That's good. The last time they did this to me a few weeks ago, they said that should this occur again, I might actually lose my channel. They aren't saying that this time. They asked about feedback. I clicked to let us know and I sent them feedback. I said very simply that I was, that I believed I did not violate any community guidelines. So if they could please refer to specific comments I made, that would be helpful so that I would understand better what I had said that might be a problem. I did not hear back from them. Hopefully I'll hear back from them this time. Unfortunately, I didn't get a screenshot of that before I sent it or I would have included it in this video. Okay, so next thing I wanted to say, YouTube is a private platform. I am entirely uh, in agreement that they should have a right to make their policies as they choose. Uh, you know, within the limits of the law, I think it's perfectly fine for them to say, you can say this, you can't say that. That's their business. This is not the public sphere. Uh, I just want to clarify that point. Uh, I also want to bring up a page here that I put together, which has basically all my comments from, looks like it got cropped. Well, it's basically all the comments I've put on videos over the course of the last 24 hours. Quite a few. I spent too much time at this today. Uh, interesting videos I watched. I watched a few of Rachie's recent videos because I haven't been on her channel for a while. Enjoyed them all. Um, there was certainly nothing there to, uh, I should think, that would cause problems. I looked at a couple of atheist channels, left my usual kinds of comments there. Nothing hateful, nothing deceptive or anything like that. Probably the most controversial topic on which I left a couple of comments would have to do with the Israel-Gaza conflict, which is a highly emotional issue for many people. I happen to have my own personal opinions about some of that. That's not relevant to this video, but that would certainly be something that I might have said something that upset someone. Now, comments that I put received, uh, as far as I can tell, nobody's even seen them. The videos I put them on didn't have many views, so I'd be surprised. So I'm not sure if people, you know, random viewers decide that they don't like somebody or don't like their comments, so they report them. And on that basis, YouTube automatically pretty much steps in and blocks things without having thoroughly reviewed it. And like, you know, is, is there somebody out there that doesn't like me for whatever reason? I mean, there probably are a few people out there that don't like me. Maybe on YouTube too. I'm not exactly the nicest guy in the world, um, though I'm certainly no hate monger. So I don't know if that's the cause of this or if YouTube itself, its own algorithm, somehow tripped up on something I said that it was suspicious of. If any of you have experiences with this, I'd be interested to know your experiences. Uh, I find it really quite annoying. Um, so if you 
You know, there's some possibility, it's not a remote possibility, that YouTube could, on a spur of a moment, decide to take my channel down. Uh, there's nothing I can do to prevent that, and I wouldn't know in advance. So if you, have, if you like my videos, and if you want to keep copies of them, download copies of them, there are programs available that allow you to download off YouTube. I encourage you to do so. Copy these videos and save them for yourself if you think you might want to go back and see them again, because there's no guarantee that they will remain on the, uh, available publicly. That's all. I guess uh, if I get any follow-up from YouTube uh, regarding the questions I sent them, I'll, I'll put another video out with the follow-up. All right. Have a great day, folks. Take care. Bye-bye.